Right guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be doing the top speed test. Got the phone out hooked up to the bike. It's pretty windy right now, so ignore the wind, but so I'm kinda of hiding behind the tree. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna do the top speed test, get this over with, and uh, take it for a nice little rip in the back. Hopefully it's not too wet back there. But yeah, I've always wondered what this uh, KDX goes, and uh, today we're gonna to find out. So let's hook up the GoPro, take this for a quick rip, and uh, see the top speed. Um, I'm gonna guess it goes about 70 miles per hour. It's pretty fast, so let's do that and uh, see what happens. Alright, so we got the bike going, we got the GPS going, I think we're all set to go. Let's put the GoPro on, take this thing for a top speed test. Sounding pretty crispy too. Alright guys, the, uh, the bike's warming up right now. We're gonna take a nice uh, top speed test on it. I'm guessing it goes around 70. You couldn't hear me in the wind before, but uh, let's go see. Phone's a little wobbly on here, but that should hold up for now. Yeah, we're gonna take one lap. We're gonna go with the wind. I think that's gonna be the best option we got right now and uh, see if that works out. We will see. Just warming up the bike before we do this top speed run. I've got a guy coming to buy this bike, I think tomorrow, so. Wanted to get the top speed run in. I'm super curious to find out what the heck a 200 goes. I know it's going to go pretty fast, but let's go down to the end of the, end of the road and see. right now or 48 or 44 43 that should leave enough room my prediction is still 70 
We'll see though. We go. Three, two, one, go. 17. 27. Seventy three that hit. Seventy three miles per hour. Dang, that's pretty fast. Sounded really good too. Sounded really good. I'm pretty impressed with seventy three. Not gonna lie, that is a pretty good uh, speed we got going right there. That is really impressive. Let's take it for one, one more lap on the grass over here. grass is so high right here needs to be cut for sure Ooh, neutral pops right up no problem We hit 45 through there just now. That was pretty fast. Yeah, so 73 isn't too bad. I guess 70 and it went a little bit faster than that, so pretty happy with that. Like I said, this thing has a ton of power for what it is. I would never guess that it would go 73. That's pretty good for this old bike, old enduro, not too shab. We'll switch over to camera and do the rest of the video. All right, so we just got done with the top speed run. Let's take a quick look at the phone. As you can see, maximum speed is 73 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Um, since we went almost two miles. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, this bike, I think it's being sold tomorrow, so I just wanted to get that done, like I said before. Um, it's like the most mint bike. It started second kick, as you guys saw in the video. That was literally, I took it out of the garage. I haven't ridden it in like two weeks. Took it out of the garage and started second kick with the choke on, and that was it. And warmed up and good to go. So this, I highly recommend this KDX 200 to anyone that wants like a reliable, good trail bike. The guy who owned this before me took really good care of it. and. It's a super good bike, um, not street legal, just trail legal, so has uh, really good tires on it, and everything's pretty good on it. But yeah, that's the video for today. Hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed. More to come on that, I guess not more to come on that bike, more to come on this Kawasaki over here, so stay tuned for future videos on that one. And uh, we still got the little Suzuki as well, and I'm going to get my CR250 out pretty dang soon. I, th I think I'm going to be hitting up the track here. Uh, maybe next week, so stay tuned for those videos um, and more to come on that Also, my Instagram is two underscore vintage underscore if you guys want to follow me on there. I uh, got behind the scenes I posted a bunch today and Just constantly posting stuff on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me on there, it's two underscore vintage underscore and Yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing until next time. We are oh. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys made it to the end of the video. 
this will be talking about the website and how you can donate and what you guys get for donating. <clears throat> if you guys didn't watch last couple videos, I talked about the website quite a bit, but um, just want to touch base here quick. First of all, Lab2 is a website created by me and my friend Jeff. And um, basically, we created the website because we were getting so sick of eBay fees. And I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. Um, eBay takes 10% of fees, and it's just ridiculous, plus another 3% for PayPal. And our website, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that in half. And um, yeah, so um, it's a marketplace where you can post your bikes, sell your bikes. Um, so basically, you just click on here, sell your item. Um, and... You can shop by category and stuff like that. But anyway, um, you can sell all different parts of bikes, motorcycles, ATVs, anything you want. It's exactly like eBay, you can bid on the item. For example, let's click on here. So basically it's like eBay. You've got your seller right here. Um, for example, this is Rust Belt Cycle Parts. He's a cycle part distributor out of Milwaukee. And he posted 4,000 of his items on our website. Um, to post it, it is free. So um, he just uploaded a CSV file to his site. And basically you can place a bid on this item or buy it now. Um, and it's super, it's super nice to have. Um, and basically there's there will be a description button right here. And it'll be pretty much exactly like eBay except just the motorcycle parts bike section of it. Um, and I'll, obviously like cars, ATVs, all that good stuff. But you guys can list all your stuff too. So example, if you want to sell an item, there will be a seller dashboard you have to sign into. And then you get money, you know, just like eBay. But anyway, we, we created this site because we we hate eBay fees, basically. Um, I've been posting a lot of bikes on eBay for the past five years. And I post a bike for like five grand and they take 5% of that, or 10% of that, plus a 3%. PayPal fee, and we're, we just cut that price in half. So it'll definitely be better than eBay. Um, it'll be focused on just motorcycles, just ATVs, just cars like that. It'll just be the motor section of eBay, basically. And you'll be able to find all different parts, super rare parts. We're going to tons of distributors all across the country and asking them to up their, upload their parts to the site. So you guys are gonna have tons and tons of parts on here, tons and tons of bikes, tons of rare, cool bikes. So. This will be the spot for that. We're also thinking about um, creating a forum on the page right here where everyone can discuss bikes and uh, it'll be super fun and cool. Um, so the GoFundMe I put up, um, I'm wanting to raise $12,000 for it. I know it seems like a ton of money. Um, I, I raised 48 so far and thank you to the one, two, three, four people that already donated. Uh, Charlie Stopka just donated $13. And uh, really appreciate that, Charlie, for donating. That's super helpful. Um, and Owen Stamper donated $20. Um, he said he wants me to shout out his Instagram at O underscore when. And uh, he said thanks a lot for uh, making the videos. And he said good luck on the site. So thanks a lot, Owen. I shouted out Zach Coling and Kyle Burks from the other video. So thanks a lot for supporting the um the channel and this new website coming up. Uh, I just want to go through some of the costs that go into this website. A lot of people were like, oh, why does it cost 12 grand? Uh, I'm going to go through some of the costs we got coming up here for phase two of the website. And um, even if I can hit half of that 12K, we'd be good to go. But um, it's going to take a lot more than 12K to finish the site. So basically, this is from our um, our creators of the website. We are a legitimate company called lap2.com. We have all the paperwork for it. It's an actual company. We pay taxes. Um, but anyway, this is from Greg um, Greg at Webfitters. He's the lead designer there at Webfitters um, out in Green Bay, and they design websites and stuff. So for phase two, um, what we need is integrated shipping functionality. So basically this is when you buy an item, you're going to have a shipping cost come up and you're gonna be entering a product with with a bunch of different size and stuff. So basically you're gonna have companies like USPS, UPS, and um, FedEx. And when you enter that item, it's gonna automatically tell you how much the item is gonna to cost to ship. 
uh, to different places. So this integrated shipping functionality is going to be 20 hours at $125 per hour. So just that alone is a ton. Uh, the next thing we need is an internal messaging system. So basically no outside contact should be shown anywhere on the site. It's going to be super secure. Um, and only logged in users can contact sellers on the product page. So if you know like eBay, when you click on a product, you can message that seller. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, and then if you guys want to read through the rest of it, it's you get uh, an email notification when the messages are, messages are sent, the messages will be threaded. Uh, photos we have, will be attached to the website. Um, you're going to be alerted if phone numbers are used within the chat um, because that's kind of like you don't want phone numbers to be used, no outside contact. So that's going to be 26 hours at, 120, at $125 per hour. So that's going to be a ton. Um, and then a seller star rating page, you need a rating system for the website. So this is going to be similar to eBay's rating system. Um, it's going to be like a five, five star rating system that's going to take 14 hours to make. Um, gateway fee functionality requirement gathering. Um, gateway fee is basically what PayPal fees are, and we're gonna be doing that. So that's four hours. And then training how to import CSV files. CSV files are basically huge files that contain tons of images and postings. So when you post to eBay, if you have like 5,000 parts already on eBay and you wanna transfer them over to our site, you need to use a, you need to use a CSV file. And that CSV file contains thousands of pictures and images, and um, it takes a ton of time to upload it. But uh, we do that all for free here at Lab2. So if you guys have over thousands of parts, use a CSV file. We transfer everything over directly from eBay. We take all the pictures and post it right on our site for free. So that's a huge thing that we do for free. Um, and then the remaining small items are all these, which 12 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours, 3 hours, 6 hours, 0.5 hours. And if you add all this up, it's up, it's 20 plus 26 is 46, plus 14 is 60, plus four is 64, plus six is 70. So that's 70 times 125. Where does that at? come out to? I should be able to do this in my head, but I'm too lazy to do that. I did go to school for engineering, but you know, if you have a calculator in front of you, you gotta use that. So we're gonna do 70 times 125. That's $8,750 right there. And that's not including the additional cost for 12 hours, six hours, eight hours, three hours, six hours, six hours, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, three hours. So yes, we do need the 12 grand um, to finish the site. I was not making it up. So if you guys could really go help me out at GoFundMe, um, we raised $48, which I appreciate every donation. Um, and um, I'm laying out a list of rules. I will include that right here in the uh, the video of what happens when you donate a certain amount and um, I'd really appreciate any help with that hopefully that clarifies some of the things you guys had and uh, yeah so thanks a lot guys for watching thanks for subscribing if, if you made it this far in the video um, go to GoFundMe and uh, make a small donation I appreciate anything alright guys so basically the rewards for GoFundMe is uh, these are the rules. Donate over one dollar. I list your name at the end of my video. So I'll just list your name at the end of the video. Pretty uh, self-explanatory there. Uh, donate over twenty dollars. I give you a shout out to Instagram and your YouTube. So um, you guys would list both your Instagram and your YouTube account on the donation and I would shout out both of them on my YouTube channel. Um, if you donate over a hundred dollars, you receive shout out to Instagram and YouTube and also get phone call to discuss YouTube. So I will personally call you up and discuss YouTube, how to grow on YouTube, um, tips and tricks, tips and tricks on Instagram, um, Snapchat, anything you guys want to talk about. We can also collab. Um, donate over $1,000. You receive special perks on the Lap2 website, such as lower fees um, and uh, first to know things like live updates like that. You also get all the above mentioned items. So if you guys want to donate over $1,000, you get all that stuff, um, plus the special perks on the website. Feel free to contact me on Instagram um, to talk more about this. If you guys are a serious investor and have thousands of dollars that you want to invest in the company, please contact me. Um, we can talk and um, we can have meetings and stuff where I will personally see that you come to the meetings about the website. Um, if you guys are distributors, 
who have parts on eBay and think this could help you a lot, um, feel free to contact me and uh, we can get your CSV files uploaded onto the site for free and um, we can keep you guys contacted. Um, right now we have a list of about five guys who are big big sellers on, on eBay who are all thinking this is a great idea. So definitely get on it and uh, donate and uh, be part of this upcoming community. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for uh, listening to me ramble on about this. If you guys are actually serious about it, please feel free to contact me and um, go over to the GoFundMe and donate a little bit.